also in terms of applying to different agencies, even if they reject you, don't feel bad. It took me four years to get into ICE and I say that proudly because every single year I would send my images through. video you really like it please make sure to subscribe and join the family so guys okay I know it's been forever first of all okay before we get into that happy new year it's a new decade it's 2020 I'm feeling good I'm feeling really excited and optimistic about the year towards the end of last year I kind of slowed down kind of slowed down I completely stopped filming and putting out YouTube videos and there's no like big reason for it I think I don't know, life just got in the way. You know, when people use the excuse like, oh, I've been really busy and I'm not able to do this and this and this. If you really want to do something, you're going to do it. I think it was just a thing of prioritizing. I was actually filming my new show, which is launching in a few weeks called The Girls Club. And so yeah, that was my priority at that time. However, I am back and I'm super excited to put out more videos for you guys and to continue building and growing our family. So I thought I would start off this brand new year with my top five tips on how to get you noticed by agencies. I'm still getting so, so many DMs from you guys on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Shameless plug. Who else is going to do it if not me? A lot of you guys are still asking me tons of questions about modeling, the modeling industry, how you can become a model, etc, etc, etc. And a lot of you have been telling me how you've been binge watching my videos. And so I thought that this would be the perfect way to start off the year. A lot of you guys are obviously wanting to get signed to agencies. By the end of this video, you will have everything you need to take on the year, to get noticed by agencies, and to really kickstart your modeling career. So, let me stop talking and actually get into this video. Let's go! Okay, so first thing is getting into routine. And when I say routine, I'm talking skin routine, hair routine, nails routine, body routine. Your skin is really, really important. Even though you need to make sure that you have a good skincare regime, you know, a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, a good serum, sunblock, SPF is so important by the way. That's not all. You need to make sure that you are eating right. And so when I say routine, that's what I'm talking about. So you need to make sure that you're getting into a good eating plan, that you have a good workout plan, that you are constantly looking after your hair, looking after your nails, looking after your skin. These are really important factors. Even when you go to a casting, a lot of the time they will say, put your hands up in front of your face and you kind of have to go like that and that's because they want to see what your hands look like, what your fingers look like, your nails, are they in good shape. Point number two, identify the type of model you are and I have spoken about this in previous videos. I feel like it's actually the most important point out of this entire list because it gives you a starting block, it kind of sets the tone, it gives you a sense of direction as well. So if you're a plus size model, you know, look at other plus size models, look at what they are eating, look at what type of exercises they are doing, look at how they are, they are dressing. A really good example of a great plus size model is Ashley Graham. I love everything 
about her and I think even still you can get a lot of references from her Instagram page specifically as well as her YouTube. If you are a runway model, you know, do the same. If you are a commercial model, a fitness model, a swimwear model, a lingerie model, make sure that you have figured out what type of model you are and this is really important because you also have to be realistic with yourselves guys. And the beauty actually about the modeling industry is that there are so many different avenues you can take. You don't only have to walk the runway and be a Bella Hadid or a Kendall Jenner. That is not where modeling stops. There is commercial modeling and there is a lot of money in TV commercials by the way, but that's something for another day. So yeah, point two, figure out what type of model you are. Point number three is to narrow down the agencies that you're after. So of course when you're not signed, you kind of want to be signed by anyone just to get some representation. However, if you can just narrow down a list of agencies, maybe find top three in your area, this will help you a lot because you'll be able to see the style you know, that they're posting on their Instagram or on their website. You'll also be able to look and see what type of models do they represent and see if you like fit there. A lot of the time some agencies will say oh you look very similar to a couple of models that we have already however you know try this agency. Sometimes it can be frustrating however agencies do have a type. Um, if you look at ICE, if you look at BOSS, if you look at Ford in America, if you look at IMG, they, if you look at the Lions, each agency really does have a type and of course everyone is different but they still do have a type of model that they will represent so narrow down the agencies that you want to apply for or that you want to get to notice you just so that it's more focused and it will be a lot easier so that you can also kind of study who they have on their books you can also do a lot of research find out more about this agency because you'd rather be more informed than uninformed Point number four, which is one of my favorites, is to up your social media presence. Now, the first thing that you need to do is take away the need to be liked, okay? And what I mean by that is not everyone is going to like you. So you need to just come to terms with the fact that you want to be a model. If this is what you have decided, this is your dream and no one else really matters. Take away the need to be liked. And when I say this, it means that if you're going to post a picture on Instagram, don't post it with the hopes of getting a certain response from people and also don't care so much what other people think of you because at the end of the day it's your journey it's your dream and it's your goals so use hashtags you know tag uh, different agencies on your posts make sure that you've got in your bio that you are a model or an aspiring model so that people know what you do also make sure that you have good quality images i can't stress this enough it doesn't mean that you have to have the big camera you can really just use your phone but make sure that the picture is clear that um, a potential agent or booker can actually see your face and see your features so you also want to make sure that you are not wearing too much makeup like yes wear makeup so you can look presentable but if your entire feed is filled with hectic eyeshadow and intense lashes and long like hair in your face it's really not going to help so you want to make sure that you're using pictures that really showcase your features because especially when you're trying to get noticed you will have casting directors you will have agents you will have bookers you will have founders of agencies you'll have other models possibly coming across your page and so you want to make a good first impression and then lastly but not least is to be consistent and I say this because it's so easy to go in waves of like, yes, I'm posting on Instagram or, you know, I'm engaging with different models or different agencies. I'm using hashtags. I am doing research. I'm watching YouTube videos. We can go through that phase where that's happening all the time. And then we can also go through a phase where we kind of stop. That's why I say that consistency is probably the most important quality to have when you are trying to be a model and also when you have established yourself as a model because now once you've reached that level you have to still remain consistent so that you can continue being a model so my point is be consistent in your journey and what you're trying to do to achieve your goals and what you're trying to do to achieve the attention of 
agencies. Also in terms of applying to different agencies, even if they reject you, don't feel bad, don't take it personally, I promise you it's not personal, and also don't stop doing what you're doing. It took me four years to get into ICE, and I say that proudly because every single year I would send my images through and say hi, are you guys interested in representing me? And every single year for four years, well three years, I was rejected um, until the final year, the fourth year where I finally got signed and oh my gosh, it really was the most amazing feeling. I have spoken about that in a previous video so I'm not going to go into that story now. Consistency is key especially when you're trying to put yourself out there, when you're trying to get noticed. You can't only post when you feel like it. You can't only decide to you know go to castings when you feel like it or pursue this dream when you feel like it because that's just not going to get you anywhere you need to be able to get up on the days where you're also not really feeling great in particular and um, still put yourself out there all right guys so that's it from me today i hope that this video helped you i will add links down below to my instagram page as well as to my portfolio on the ice models website just so that you guys can have a look and kind of see what it takes to build a portfolio as well i will also link a video where i go through my entire portfolio i posted that a couple of months ago and i know that you guys really loved it so i will link it down below if you have not seen it definitely go check it out i kind of give a backstory in terms of every single image that's in my portfolio so yeah it's quite interesting i will be posting way more regularly i am back you know new year new me <laughs> i'm kidding i hate that stuff so much i feel like you know just be consistent and towards the end of last year if i'm being honest with myself i wasn't consistent in terms of my youtube video creation however that's in the past you know like it's a new decade so did any of the years before even exist like who knows thank you guys so much for watching this video please make sure to like the video as well if you found it helpful please subscribe if you haven't already because our family is growing i get a lot of questions guys and when i say a lot of questions i mean a lot of questions i have a lot of models aspiring models young girls who really want help and who want a sense of direction and who want some guidance and so i am back creating these videos to help you all because really honestly i don't know how to explain but i do feel like that is my calling i feel like it's my purpose i love helping you guys i love teaching you the things that i know now when i was starting out i didn't know anything and i had no guidance and i just needed some help i needed you know a shoulder to lean on and so i'm here to be that person for you guys i will be updating my videos more regularly thank you guys so much for watching the video and i will see you next time Bye.